Alright, given this dungeon, we'll probably run to Ethel again. Let's hope she's. Yeah. Try to attack us again. Be careful, Fang. Is there any way we can spare her this uh -huh. time? Uh -huh. There better not be a secret condition. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah. Looks like that worked. My turn. Get ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That did not do as much as I hoped. Um, how big is your laser? Will it hit them both? Yes, I got it. Yes. My sword is my sword. Piece of flying stone. I believe that's needed for flight stone if you didn't manage to get the first time around. I shall strike first. My turn. Aquarius, they're always a pain in my neck. Okay, Gaia Spear. Let us begin. Scatter does not reach. Now. Get ready. Uh Soul Crusher. That's a win for us. Oh no, there's no, is there even a petrifier sass effect in this game? I don't, I hope not. Let's do this. You guys don't take any damage. New data. It's the most sustainable way to take care of it. Uh, yes, correct. Grab for us. Brace yourself. Let's go in. Eh? Shadow Hunter. Uh oh. They can move pretty far. Let's make this interesting. It's now. Ah, oh, a little bit of lag there. It's all over. <coughs> oh my, was that it? Uh, you really should give more WP for enemies that are actually stronger than <laughs> than all their other comrades. Seriously, that you think that they? <laughs> that's pretty much the proper way to balance these things, right? Otherwise, I'm better off just fighting a million of the weakest enemies than fighting a f uh, 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 fighting uh, 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 the, uh, these stronger ones. So I'm just gonna get the same reward per enemy. Uh, sorry. Be right back. I'm ready. All right, keep going. Cal, there it is again. Where are you? Why do you keep looking around so suspiciously? You seem <clears throat> like you are up to something. Shut up. I have a plan. Oh, a plan to trap Ethel? Well, considering how crazy his other plans were, Someone who knows? Following us. Should we engage? No, I don't want to fight her. Very well. But if I feel she's a threat, I'll end her life <clears throat> to protect you. You're the heart of the group, after all. Be on guard. <sighs> Uh, 
I still have not run to the treasure yet. Well, huh? My sonar says there's something here. What? Another event already? There's a bear right there too. Oh, it's it's nearby. Kill, 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 kill. Is that it? Seriously? Oh. Get out of my way! I need to find treasure. My turn. Spore of them. Let's do this. New data. Maybe I should have had everyone increase their magic, set via their weapon customization first. Let us begin. Well, magic is pretty much the easiest way. It doesn't have. It has high accuracy and range. Let's go in! It's almost. Uh, uh, there's no reason uh, not to use above physical attacks on higher difficulties, or in the higher SP cost. Oh. Oh, damn. Prepare yourself, Seguro. Oh, no! Why are they getting so many turns? My Holy crap, they just killed like half my team. Ugh. I have a... Can't fair ice here. This really sucks. Bang is not in range. I have to revive a Polonia first. Uh, this really freaking why? These things have no intention of falling either. Seriously, this game... Is it... Uh, so. New data! Okay, I'm gonna stand back and just use Bullet Storm on everyone. Screw it. Unleashing Bullet Storm! Fire! Oh, they're weak to it! Yes, revenge. <laughs> Man, that was rough. Uh, uh. Aha. Aha. Interesting. That was way too close. Okay, I'm gonna try this teleport first. Ah. I open this? Mid potion. Next. Shall I open this? Seriously, I can't believe it. Already so durable. I don't understand. Uh, so many huge concentration of enemies here too. Um, no. All right, got the treasure, but um, what's over there? It's gonna be tough dress trying to explore this whole place, getting every chest. Do not want to fuck with some of these guys. Oh, I see something. Why do they have to be so close to the enemy? Uh. Hey, what's that platform there? Huh. 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 
Maybe there was supposed to be a secret chest here uh, on different iterations of this dungeon. That must be it. Shall I open this? Uh, it's a giant too. I should probably go kill it. Or at least one of them. Oh no! Bear! I hate bears! They're evil! Okay, let's kill this giant. Just to be furrow. Let's do this! As long as I can kill the uh, uh, kill the weaker enemies first, I should be able to eventually take down the giant. Here we go! I'll show you what I thought. Care to see my true power? Rotate. Next. Get ready. Ah, can't reach. And Shadow Hunter. Oh no! Confusion. One sh one hit kill? Seriously, the balance here. Let's do this. But I don't want to go on a grinding spree until I have at least six party members. That would be really wasteful. Here we go. Yeah! Imagine I have to fight three of those giants or more. Ugh. This game is getting pretty brutal. Uh, another bear. I do not. I cannot bear this. These bears must be made by Monokuma or something. Ugh. Shall I open this? <laughs> Shall I open this? Art book. Oh. I think that might unlock something back at the end. Uh, get away from that teleport, you stupid bear! Uh -huh. Stupid Cyclops bear thingy! I do not want to fight that thing at all! Uh, there's nothing here. Bet there would have been a chest here. A, a hit secret chest here in a different iteration. Yay! Aha! Uh -huh. I... I escaped. Now to get back to the plot. I'll worry about the changed dungeon version after I get the sixth party member. God damn it. Oh, oh. They always have to be right next to freaking save point. Okay, everyone looks pretty ready. Let's just go kill the boss. This is... Hard mode, come on! I will not be killed by be you or those bears! Somewhere. How can you be so sure? It's, you know, like my intuition. When you're as good as me, you can just sense a fury's presence. I can indeed <clears throat> sense the change in the atmosphere caused by a fury. Wait, seriously? Okay, whatever. Before we go too much further, we should make her show herself. Uh. Hey, it, it looks like that rock over there is growing some ears. I recognize those ears. It must be. Come on out, Ethel. Kill, kill. Kill, kill, kill. Ethel says, I'm surprised you were able to spot me, despite me doing my best to conceal my presence. It's kind of hard to conceal your presence when you have giant bunny ears. Long time no see, everyone. Kill, 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 kill. Kill, kill! I haven't forgotten how you assholes humiliated me! How dare you call me a pitiful child! That one over there with the frilly skirt is way more pitiful than me! Is what Ethel said. <coughs> Are you talking about me? Were you calling my princess fashion pitiful? 
That was supposed to be a, prince kill, a princess fashion? Kill, kill, kill. I thought you were supposed to be a maid or something. You will pay for your insults with your lives! Boy, she must have been really offended, huh? Kill! Fair eyes! Why can't we ever start our battles with fair eyes? Instead, we have to do it the hard way. And she, and she's going after Tiara, of course. So that's what you get for being a pretty princess. Anyways, let's do this. Here we go. Ugh. Detailed analysis. Brace yourself. Okay, please tell me you are weak to something. Uh oh. Let's not break our guard gauge. That's a start. Also, let's see if I can steal anything from you. Seize. Why do you go after Tiara? Anyways, hopefully Fang will be able to deal some decent damage with this, but I want to make sure uh, Apollonius can deal some good damage too. Okay. Here we go! Gaia Spear. Kill. Kill. Brace yourself. Seriously? No. Get ready. Uh, her guard gauge is going down, but this still kind of sucks. Also, I should probably move Galdo over there to help Tiara heal. I'm all right. Here we go. Eat this. Right here. No way. Uh, come on, Brace break yourself. her already. How did I miss? I was right behind her. Let's do this. My turn. I need to break that guard gauge already. This is not. How's my accuracy this bad? I'm ready. Uh. Just gonna have her guard. Hailstone. I can't stop now. Oh, if I didn't block that, I don't even want to think about it. Still zero damage. No escape, eh? Let us begin. Uh well time I use some real attacks. Let's go, eh? Even with guard break, she's still ridiculously strong. And I also need to have Tiara heals. Dang it, I can't reach. Okay, Tiara, let's have to revive you later or something. This 
For now, I'm just gonna have him do something else. Executing Soul Crusher. Yes, that did good damage. Uh, you think she's just a muscle chest that getting hit really increases her guard gauge quickly? Here you go, blow! Yes! New data. Once your guard's broken, you're nothing but a uh, you got, you're nothing but a paper tissue to me. We got this. I'll leave this to you. Nope. Get ready. Well, in that case, I'm just gonna use heaven and earth. There's no way this will fi fail to finish you. Unleashing heaven and earth. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, so the person who killed you in the previous timeline is, is gonna deal the finishing blow. We'll go up lag! Ugh! Die. Even with my overclock. But a win's a win. I'm feeling buff! Looks like I got stronger! Kill, kill, kill. Ethel says, I've lost. Please, just kill me already. Damn it, you two! I defeated you, so don't go giving me orders! Kill. Then I'm going to kill you. Ugh, just listen! I won and you lost, so just shut up and listen to me! I want you! To eat one of Bahas's desserts. Yeah. yeah, if we do that, maybe she'll be more likely to. Uh, maybe she'll be more favorable towards us. I don't understand. I just want to kill you so bad. Is what Ethel said. Are you planning to poison her? I wouldn't play a cheap trick like that. Pops bakes his desserts himself, so they're really high quality. Hey, Pops, you did bring something, right? Um, let's see. All I have is some striped fuzzies. Is that okay? Better than nothing. That's totally fine. All right, Ethel. I don't want to hear you complain. Just shut up, eat these cookies, and we'll talk after that. And if you still want to kill me, I'm totally down to fight you again. Kill. I suppose I can take one bite, she says. Personally, I wouldn't recommend that Ethel accept charity from strangers, but... How is it? How do you feel? It's... good. It's good, is what Ethel... Oh wait! She actually s didn't speak in kill... Uh, uh, kill a knees. Huh? Ethel talked like a normal person! And she said it was good! It tastes good, right? When you eat tasty food, it makes all the bad feelings go away. Does so that mean she's gonna start binge eating? Do you still want to kill me now? Kill. I do. She says. Yeah, seriously? Well, I guess I can't do anything about that right now. But if you come with us, you can eat this amazing food whenever you want. What do you say? Want to be friends? Friends. If it makes you feel better, you can just happen to be going in the same direction and eating at the same places. How does that sound? <sighs> Ethel is... hesitant. You must understand, Ethel has only ever been <clears throat> taught to fight. She knows no life beyond battle. It's simply how she was raised. But I've long wished she could know the joy of living as a normal girl. Alright. Ethel, let's go with them. Maybe this is your chance to change. If you insist. But I might still decide to kill you all. That's fine. As long as you decide to come with us. Let's all 
don't try to get along, Ethel. It might take some time, but I want to show you just how wonderful my princess fashion is. Oh boy, things are gonna get crazy around here again. Everyone, please take good care of Ethel. Yes. So I think we're starting to get the hang of this convincing our enemies to befriend us thing. Now we have Harpy. Aaron Spencer Lecture. Assassinate. Only she has this command. It's really not worth using, I heard. This skill might defeat the selected enemy after a few turns regardless of hit point. The only way to be practical is if I had a, Pol a, Pol a Polonius tank long enough, but he's too slow to constantly tank them. So it's maybe because it doesn't work all the time, which means there's a chance it might fail. No, does not work on bosses. Oh no. Ugh. Finally in my party, huh? She's level 40? Does that mean I was under leveled for that battle? And sadly, she does not have her boss stats anymore. Anyways, what well, weapon boost? Sherry? Um. May have to grind her off screen at Shukisu's tower. Just so I can get everything. Oh, she also has P attack up. Wait, I'm definitely learning that. If I have two characters with this skill, it'll be very easy for me to overcome the boss's defense. Yes, finally! You have found the kindred spirit, Fang. Her main weapon is a bow, perfect for an assassin. Okay, now you can start learning your more advanced techniques. Ugh, it's gonna be tough to get all the stuff I want. Vigilance is a must. I am sonar. Dang it, they need to give us more starting uh, points to start with. I think D she's an ice type, so. Let's see. Can she use her. Oh, she, she can use her old outfit. And she can use her eye patch, too. Prototype clothing F. Bunny pending. That's pretty weak. Or give her some f growth talisman? No. Steel gauntlet for now. Let's see, Wh who's my best ice type? They're both water. So there's also water. Uh. No, Kuko is my best, uh, probably my best ice type. Let me check real quick. There should, I'm pretty sure the fairy list is organized in terms of element. Okay, Kuko learns ice support four. Sigurd might actually be best. Sigurd has ice support five. Yes, let's go with Sigurd. Two weapons which have scythe, spear, and gun. Potent strike defeats enemy even if assassin damage the enemy even if assassin doesn't defeat them. 
I'll probably hold on that. Assassinate is not going to be on my priority for skills. Yeah, uh, let's see. Uh, so much to learn, so little time, right? Oh, I've hit the end! And you're going to be our party leader, because you need to jump a lot. Get that dex up. Restoring, dex restoring tech is actually pretty high. If she could jump a bit, she could probably become more accurate than Fang. She's also faster than Apollonius and Gaul, though. That's a start. Her strength is somewhat higher than Gaul, though, but she is at a higher level to begin with. Enemy info. She should be here somewhere. Yeah, right here. If only you had those stats. Of course, the downside is that bosses, even when they 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 can become playable characters, their move set is a lot simpler. They don't use all their best moves. Don't use all their best AOEs. Sometimes it's wasted on normal the turns on normal attacks. Okay, save one more time just in case. Okay, time to go back to town. Um, event upon entering. Today's meal was the best by far. I'm treating today. Eat as much as you want. You seem like you're in a good mood today. Hey, Ethel, why don't you sit closer to us? No. Oh, okay. Then I guess you're not interested in the strawberry tart. I am. It looks like my interpreting days are over. Thank you again, everyone, for letting Ethel join your party. I just wanted a normal life for her. That's why I dressed her like this. But I never thought my wish would come true this way. Don't even sweat it. All this praise is starting to make me blush. Interesting. I never thought you had a tender side thing. <laughs> so, anyway, Ethel, if you're not collecting furies, why are you a fencer? You said you just wanted to fight, right? <sighs> That's Ethel a little personal. At a fencer training institution. They have a training institution? Does that have anything to do with Dorfa? A training institution? Sounds like something they would start with their funds. They raise children talented in the ways of the fencer, then sell their services to large corporations. But of course, there's a huge risk involved with trying to artificially awaken fencer powers. There are few like Ethel, who actually managed to acquire that power. Most of the students lost their lives to inhumane experiments, or training regimens. I think I might be sick. One day the facility caught on fire, and we escaped during the confusion. That sounds like... That sounds somewhat like the, like what happened in Blade Dance of the Elementalers. All they taught me was how to fight. Oh, the, the facility some, uh, suddenly getting burned down, and then they escape. And have no idea what to do with their lives, other than fight. All I'm good for is destroying, so I have to fight. Ethel, you only limit yourself when you say all you can do is destroy. You're not in that place anymore. You're out in the big wide world. <coughs> hey, so, I don't mean to interrupt such a serious conversation, but do you have a second? What's up? You feeling sick from eating too much? <laughs> Looks like I lost my wallet. Again? What? Let me say right now, I do not have enough to cover whatever the bill might be. On principle, I carry as little cash as possible. Good grief. And here I went all out because I thought you were treating us. 
I never thought you would be so careless. Eh, seriously. This is... This is the exact same thing as what happened when Sherman was in our party. Ugh, dang it, Fang. You need to you need to attach a lanyard to your wallet so you don't lose it as easily. Unless someone's the only way they can steal your wallet that easily is if they steal your pants. Just, just lay off, would ya? Assuming you tie the lanyard to your pants, that is. Huh? Is that Pippin? Join our party, dude! Ah, that's... Pippin! We need you to boost our accuracy so we can actually hit people with our normal attacks. Yeah, that's definitely him! He's got a sword stabbed through his weird-looking head and everything. That reminds me. The first time we met Pippin, he paid for my food! Yo, Pippin! Hey! Pay for my food! At least say please! Did you just call my name? What is this thing? <clears throat> what is this weird creature? Is that a fairy? Or maybe a monster? I can't identify it at all. It smells good though. Hey Pippin! I'm begging you, please, pay for my food. Fang, aren't you being a little too hasty? He's going to think you're just a mooch. I mean... You, you are, are a mooch. Me, but still. Hmm. I don't know you, and this is the first time we've met. Thus, you must pay for your own meal. Hey, don't be so cold. I'm gonna be your trusty companion eventually. May as well invest in our friendship early. You insolent fool! How dare you mooch off a stranger! Aren't you a fencer? Have you no sense of shame or decency? I apologize for the ruckus, everyone. Please pardon us. Ah, they're gone. I guess Operation Free Food was a bust. Jeez, I know you're excited that you got Ethel to join your party, but you shouldn't rush things like that. What if Pippin never joins because of what happened just now? Oh no! What do you do then? Then we're never going to be able to land normal attacks ever again. Nothing. I'll just let things unfold naturally. Besides, I'm sure we'll run into Pippin again. Here. Your wallet was under the table. Oh. Huh? She always check under the table first. Dang it. Now we'll never recruit him. Sub event. Whoa, what should I go to first? Seriously, no new quests, even for the area we were in. I bet I have to find the ultra-powered circuit, but where? It's in the Lassamundo Ice Cave. <sighs> oh, if I ever get there. Ugh. Okay. No new convos here. What's in the Fountain Plaza? Pleasure doing biz business with ya. Are you making lots of moolah? A little bit, a little bit. Wait, why are we talking like this? You're really good at playing along. Grrr. So what's up? I've never seen you all hanging out like this before. Some of us were feeling bored, so we're all taking a walk together. Kiwi, Kiwi. Well, since you're out and about, why don't you buy something from me? You're all about business, aren't you? Um, do you have any candy? Of course, I just have I just stocked some homemade caramel candies, freshly simmered with no additives. And I'd like some of those, please. Thank you for your patronage. How much is it? What do you need candy for? Evelyn has shown an interest in sweets lately. Ever since she joined your party, she's become more expressive. I'm truly grateful. Grr. You're grateful too, huh, Seguro? Does anyone. Uh, I guess she's now Seguro's interpreter. 
Maybe Kiwi's interpreter too. Oh, you're making me blush. You don't need to feel grateful. Hmm. I'm a little jealous. Everyone gets along so well. It must be nice to have friends. I consider you a friend. Kiwi! That makes me happy to hear. I'm not gonna lower my prices though. Yeah, yeah, I figured. Well, let's get going. Please keep working hard. Grr. Should I have told them? Then again, some things are best left unsaid. Does she know about the previous timeline? That means she's been ripping me off. For purposefully. Like Segro sticking out like a sore thumb? Oh, that's what you're talking about. Should I have told them that the villagers are totally terrified? Even if they're just out for a walk, bringing along such a huge fairy is guaranteed to turn heads. I thought they had more common sense than that, but I guess Fang's threads are unreasonable in their own way. Karen, if you don't come a little closer, I won't be able to study you that well. Now don't be scared, come here! Ugh, okay. Hmm, so you're a humo humanoid fairy with fox ears, huh? How cute- no, how fascinating! Was she about to say cute? What the heck is Harley doing? Just for fairy examination. Every fairy in our group receives one after joining. It's practically a rite of passage now. What about Segaro? Does he get one too? Harley looks like she's enjoying herself a little too much. Her face reminds me of a bad scientist. Just let her go already, Harley. Alright, alright. Before we wrap this up, can you give me a strand of your hair? Sure. Ow, here you go. What's she gonna do with that strand of hair? Apparently she needs it for her research. I gave her one of my hairs, too. Research? There's still a lot that's unknown about fairies. By collecting hair samples, I can pursue further research in greater detail. <clears throat> That's amazing. These hairs are my priced collection. Hmm. <laughs> That's a little weird. I have a hair sample from every fairy I've ever met. Of course, that doesn't include fairies who are naturally hairless. Um, technically he has a mustache and a beard. Doesn't that count as hair? Hey, why are you two looking at me? Ooh, I wasn't expecting Bahis to finish the joke. Godly Revival. I'll save that for later. Sucking up. Fair save for now. You're such a softy thing. You even tamed Ethel. I've got I got nothing on you, eh? You don't have to suck up to me. Besides, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, you're so modest, but that's what I like about you, eh? I'll follow you till the very end. Oh my thing, are you lost? Of course not. Why would you assume that I'd get lost inside of an inn? Well, whenever my Galdikins goes somewhere new, he gets lost the moment he leaves his room. <coughs> I'm surprised by how open-minded you are. You're willing to recruit former adversaries like me without any hesitation. It's no big deal. I'm only doing it because I want to. <laughs> You're right. I suppose that's consistent with your personality. Feng, is the food ready? You just ate. You taught Ethel that food tastes better when we eat together. So Ethel likes mealtime now. Ah, Fang. Yeah? Oh, you're in a good mood. What's up? Ethel's starting to make calm facial expressions. It's all thanks to you, Fang.
Let's see, nothing new here. Recipes? No. Yeah, same old, I guess. This one's pretty expensive, but do I want it? Master Dogi. Oh, interesting. Gives me a bit of P attack. It's also kind of expensive. Cannon skirt. <coughs> See, iron armor has good defense, but yeah, this P attack might help me make a difference against some of the bosses. Chainmail wasn't very defensive to begin with. Enhanced mail. 91. Iron breastplate. I was, I'm always a sucker for weaker but more uh, but uh, more tricky equipment in both trails and this game, I guess. Prototype clothing. Yes, make my make me hit even harder. Welcome, valued customer. Today's special fury info will cost you this much. Why are we paying her? We know where every fury is. We just give her a list of all locations where we know of furies, and then just have her give us new information. No, she's no, sucking I'm away all my money. Quite nicely. <laughs> Keep doing business with me. No, you are ripping. Dang it, Fang! You're the, you are really bad at business. Now then, about the fury. It's at a place called the Subterranean Tower. Hey, since you're here, wanna buy these Dorfer brand bunny ears? You can use your brain waves to wiggle them. Echo already has those. Well, there you go. Bye now. Okay, take care. Come back soon. Bring back lots of money. And she still has one more. A Nord Neo boss. Oh, uh, hello. You're looking for Fury info, right? Uh, thank you for your patronage. Let's see. Someone claims they saw a new Fury at Bowie Valley. Take care. Diner. Could this be? Could this be Emily's event? Why don't you smile more often? When you stay still and act normal, you're actually really cute. Huh? Um... She's right. Come, show us your smile. Smile. It's hard to smile consciously. Oh my, she's nervous. Ethel's not used to being told she's cute. She didn't even know what cookies were before I gave her some. What kind of environment was she raised in, anyway? Ethel was an orphan, but her skills caught the eye of a of Taiga Hall, an elite training facility for fencers. That's where she and I met. Don't tell me all those orphans that Mariana was taking care of. Don't tell me we're gonna be sent to facilities like these. It's just like with Mr. King from Mega Man Star Force, maybe. Taiga Hall. Every day, countless children in Taiga Hall were subjected to intense training. The, the ones who could not keep up would suddenly vanish without warning. Jeez, that place sounds ruthless. One day, a fire broke out at the facility and we managed to escape amid the confusion. I see. <clears throat> a lot of things happened between the, the time we escaped and when we met you all. I wonder if Zenke was part of that. Maybe that's why he's so messed up. That would certainly explain things. One time we participated in a costume contest. Ethel wore a bunny costume. We also entered a dance contest and even managed to win somehow. Ethel was good at popping and locking. 
One time we entered a fishing contest and managed to reel in a smelt, but we lost it and came in last place. I wasn't expecting to hear that. That sounds like it was really fun. Why so many contests though? I want Ethel to experience an excitement that didn't come from killing someone, so I recommended that she enter. How considerate. But if you wanted Ethel to have a normal life, why did you have her do things that most girls wouldn't do? I don't think Karen really knows what it means to be a normal girl either. Uh, I was hoping it was an event we could meet Emily, have her reunite her brother. Anyways, let's look for a new quest. Nope. I guess I'm not going to be able to get anything until I finish that B rank. A shame. One of the three towers. There's only been one of those towers. I don't know if Shukisu even counts. Shukesu. Um. Yeah, how many towers are there? The sub. That's the subterranean tower. Ugh. One really ridiculously long dungeon. Do not like. We also don't get to go to normal Kidanar. And East Kidanar is a bonus area that's probably too hard for us right now. Let's see. Zell. Jet Black Cave Wine Factory Ruins. Alright, we have to go to the valley. Be right back, I'll try to get to the save point. Alright, here it goes. Let's go! Uh, uh, okay, here on Galdi. Right. On Galdi. Here we go! Detail analysis. Yeah, it's, hey, it's not actually as strong, and I'm on hell mode too. Okay, we got this. This, is, this thing is weak. <clears throat> okay, for now I'm just gonna buff P, the P attack of our characters. Executing. This is your sole purpose now. At least until I can get you, uh, uh, get you better, uh, 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 better stats. Yes. Let's go in. No, no, nothing. Get ready. Oh, it's attacking. Okay. How can you miss? You were right behind it! Maybe if I parts break it, something good will happen. New data! Fire! Eat this! I'll do my best. Anyone that who need a P attack? How about you, Galdikins? Let us begin. Alright. Yes. Maybe a better angle. Here I come. Let's go in. Yes. Oh, I broke apart. Yes. Oh no. My turn. Oh, I can't get to her in time. First you. Uh. My turn. Let's do this. 
slash. Not done yet. Uh, Brace yourself. I can still do, deal parts break damage on you. Seriously. Here I come. Huh. I'm still breaking his parts. Oh, shoot, he's not weak to sight for some reason. Uh. I'll do my best. Uh. Ah. New data. Yourself. Seriously, why? If only Pippin joined my party back there. Dang it, thing! Why you have to ruin it? His guard's down. They're finished. Yes. Oh, next. You should have backed down. Yes. Oh, lightning type. Right, Jin. This will be good for when I get Pippin back in the party. Uh. Oh, come on. No. Why? Alright, since I have that Lightning Fury Raijin, I should give him... Uh, uh, I might as well give him Lightning Support plus two. Kill I'm on hard mode right now, but... Yeah, they're not very hard anyway, so... I don't think it's gonna matter. <laughs> Okay, flame assault. Take a blow. Explosion. That was nothing. Yeah, we're kind of overload for the B rank ones. Yes, reveal more for boobies to me. I can only fully reveal it once I get the S rank fairy from her, though. Let's see. Make sure I grab stuff from these fairies. Change your hell real quick. Let's see, I need. Uh, who's my other fairy? Wind type. I don't think I have any good wind passives to put on it. Bow prowess. I should. I should have saved one of the ice types for that one. Shoot. There's only so a few of these left. I still haven't gotten all the C ranks either. That's strange. Low prowess, confusion, null, knuckle prowess. Does Galdo have knuckle damage? If that's the case, it. Huh. Let's see. Weapon boost. Yes, he does. Okay, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna put a, that on the. I'm gonna use knuckle prowess then. Holy crap. Why are there so many of them? Actually, there's only three of them, but they're all freaking huge. And ties. Here we go. My turn. Uh, she doesn't really have anything. 
too great here for spell damage. Yeah, I don't have any good AoEs on her right now. Brace yourself. Oh well. Get ready. Eh? High-powered circuit. I don't think that's what we need for the quest, though. Oh, I got wind support five. Okay. Do it to me. Oh. Almost got all the B ranks now, and all, almost all the C ranks. Alright, back to grinding then. I'm sure if F will join at level 40, that means Pippin must join even higher. L logically speaking, right? Alright, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe.